Hello YouTube, Statue Hunter 75 here with Statue Hunters Bags and Boards, episode 57. I went overboard today. It's New Comic Book Wednesday. It is April 3rd, 2019, and I visited four of my favorite comic book shops today, and I thought it was going to be a slow week with comics, but it wasn't. Um, let's start off. My first stop of the day was Harrison's Comics. And I ended up picking up Amber Blake number one. Got a copy of this. Um, this essentially is, uh, let's see. <clears throat> it's, it's basically, she's recruited as a child to the Cleveland Institute for Gifted Children. And a woman now finds herself on the run as she threatens to expose the abuse that occurred by the administration. So that's what the solicitation was on this. Um, for Amber Blake. Let's, let's put these on here so I can slide them up the table easily. Alright, next we got Major X number one. This is Rob Liefeld's new addition to Marvel Comics. Um, it actually does have... Uh, I was hoping I would have got the... Uh, the variant cover, but um, I didn't. I only got a few of these. It's basically this is the first appearance of Major X, um, and it's also the first appearance of Dreadpool. I believe Major X is Cable's son, um, and Dreadpool is a new character too. So there's two first appearances in this, so it might turn out to be something big. Um, so for now, it's not going crazy yet, but we'll see what happens with it. As you know, the big thing this week, last week, or maybe the week before, was Detective Comics 1000. Now Marvel has their big new unveil of war, the War of the Realms. Uh, big mystic um, epic going on right now with all the uh, Asgardian stuff and everything. Uh, this variant is by Nexon, and this guy is so special that it actually says art by Nexon on it. None of the others said, like, art by Del Otto or art by Greg Horn or art by J. Scott Camel. And all those big artists um, had their own awesome variant covers, yet for some reason they put art by Nexon on this one. I picked up two copies because it, it it looks badass. I love it with Thor thunder, thundering down with the lightning hammer Molino there. It just looks awesome. So I picked up two copies. I actually think I, yeah, I think that, I don't think I picked up another one anywhere else. Um... I also picked up this, this seat, it doesn't say art by Ar Artie Granov or anything like that, but this was Granov's uh, variant cover, which looks awesome with the uh, Hulk and Spider-Gwen and Angela, so, excuse me, I'm kind of fighting a cold. I also picked up this copy of this book, which was a number one issue from an indie comic called Ahoy Comics, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. It's called Bronze Age Boogie. Um, and I thought it was kind of funny. Like, most new comics don't, like, you know, it's like a movie premiere or something. There's, like, a quote from a reviewer. I loved every insane minute of it by Matthew Rosenberg. Who the hell's Matthew Rosenberg? Is he some comic reviewer? Is he, like, the Siskel and Ebert of comics? I, I don't know. Um... But anyway, extras. Tyrone Finch. That's cool. Maybe they're trying to make it look like a movie. Probably. Okay. Something different. So we'll see. Give it a shot. Also picked up uh, Xenoscope's new new uh, series here called Hell Child Blood Money. Um, you know, it was sold out online. Uh, there's not much of a solicitation here. So we'll, we'll see how it is. Give it a shot. So, um, also, Larry Harrison's got a couple more of these that were a big hit last week of Neon Future number one. So, I picked them up. I don't think these are second printings. I believe these are the first printings. So, he just got them back in. So, I picked up these. He actually got all three copies, but I already bought some of the other variant copies. And this was the big one. You know, with Steve Aoki. They all had him on the cover, but that was the really cool one. I guess that one was the hit of, uh, of last week. It's going for like nine bucks. And up. Uh, Captain America number nine. So looks like a War in the Realms. Oh, this was from last week, actually? War in the Realm 
War of the Realms is coming in one week. It's it's out this week. Was this from last week? Did I pick up an old book and not even realize that it was no, this was on the copies. This this is actually out this week. This is the first appearance or, or reintroduction of Dryad. New X-Men Volume 2 number one was the first appearance of the original Dryad who died with four other students in New X-Men number 24. Okay. So maybe the Captain America War of the Realms tie-in is coming next week, but War of the Realms started this week, and that's from this week. I don't know what's up with that, but anyway. Also picked up Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys Marvel History number two. Um, I'm not sure if there's any major key to this. Uh, I don't think so. I'm just checking right now. Um, I don't believe so. I don't believe there's any key to this. Um, if there is, good. I picked it up. That's awesome. Um, so, all right. <laughs> uh, Marvel team up Spider-Man Miss Marvel. So I believe they like switch powers in this in this issue. And this is number one, and this is the variant cover, which I think was like a one in ten. Larry had it for ten bucks, so figure why the hell not. I picked it up. I like the cover. Looks pretty cool. I think that is the only thing is that they, they switch powers, I think. So it's just a team up of Spider-Man and Miss Marvel and uh, Peter and Camilla exchange powers. So there we go. Um, I don't even know if they solicited this variant. There was another variant by Paco Medina. Uh, I'm not sure which variant this was. So, hey, I like the cover, so I bought it. Cover by. Plus they switch powers. Maybe it'll turn out to be worth something. So next, after um, venturing out to Harrison's Comics, I had ventured over to see my friend Anthony over at um, Paper Asylum. And Anthony always gets the obscure books that I want. And he had one that I've been searching for. We'll get into it in a minute. This week came out Magical Beatdown number two. Nobody had this, so I picked up two of them, hoping it does something. It's wicked gory and gruesome, and it's funky. It's different. It's eight bucks for these little books, but hopefully it proves to be well worth it. I picked up this clown right here. <laughs> I don't care what you think. I'm, I'm not getting political. She's a moron, no matter what. She's She was an actress who, whatever. I'm not even going there. But I, I picked this up to go next to my incredible Trump. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, she is a knucklehead. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. I picked up the Greg Horn variant of the War of the Realms, which is just epic. It's beautiful. I love it. And that's a, that's like a Da Vinci, I think. A play on Da Vinci, I believe, on the Sistine Chapel. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me with him touching Millennial almost. So, oh, my favorite artist, speaking of uh, Italians, Gabriel Delato. Um... He is my favorite Italian artist. Where he does some amazing stuff. And this is just a beautiful cover of the Thor variant. And it was cover price. So I picked up, I scooped up a few of these. So also picked up Blood Realm number one. And this cover, <laughs> it looks like, <laughs> tell me if you see it. Tell me if you see it. Does that look like the silhouette of the devil of Satan from South Park? Satan. That's what it looks like. Anyway, it's a premiere issue of Volume 2. It's only a $1.50 cover price. And um, uh, I love Jim's comics um, up there in Canada. I'm all about his videos. Um, and I really do love his accent and everything. I love his, love, I'm sure he loves my Bostonian accent. But um, uh, I love his videos. And he said, pick it up from Alterna Comics. It's only $1.50. You can't go wrong. So I gave it a shot. This was Shelly, a cover buy for my daughter. <laughs> it's the Ars Guardian version of a uh, variant of Deadpool number 11. You know, there is a new character. Uh, well, there's the origin story, um, which is continued. It's the uh, origin of Good Night continued in this. So it's a cool variant. My daughter loves it. So I picked up a few of them, actually. Uh, Avengers No Road Home. Um, now, this issue... Is it's just sold out online. There's no real key to it, I don't think. 
We see Nick's on the cover and Mortal Hulk. Everybody's on the cover. It's a really cool cover, so I picked it up. We'll see if it turns out to be something. Right now, it's just sold out online. Major X picked up another one of those because this uh, hopefully turns into something. We shall see. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. You know, right now, it's the first appearance of Major X and the first appearance of Dreadpool, so it's two characters. Love this cover. One of my favorite artists. It's the J. Scott Campbell War of the Realms. And I was so psyched because, hey, Anthony and Pete over Paper Solemn were the only ones who ordered this. At least they were the only store that had it today. Uh, the four major comic stores that I went to in the area, they were the only ones that had it. So they were smart enough to order a ton of this cover to get the, probably to get the variants, but well worth it. Because look at that cover. It's freaking beautiful. It's got, I love Hella. I love the J. Scott Campbell women. And it's J. Scott Campbell doing Hella. And in the background, you have like a classic Thor, which looks awesome. And it's Campbell. Can't go wrong. So hopefully that just skyrockets. I picked up one, two, three copies here. I think I picked up another one somewhere else. I could. No, like I said, he's the only one who got it. So I only got those three copies. I probably should have bought more. And here's what I'm talking about. Anthony coming through for me. He had uh, two speculations. Um, we got Bitterroot, which got optioned. So this is Bitterroot number one, and it's a variant cover too. So Anthony always gives it to me at a great price, so I can't go wrong. I'm very happy. And finally, I did get the preview one of this from Harrison's, but from Paper Asylum, Anthony got the actual official first copy. First print, first copy, Knights of the Golden Sun. The art in this is beautiful. I don't care if this is coming down, going back up. I don't care what the price is doing. I like this. It's religious, which is pretty cool. I'm Catholic, whatever. Um, I'm Roman Catholic. But it, not only the art of all the angels and everything in here is just awesome. This They should do something with this. Maybe into a show or something. It should get options soon, probably. It's from Mad Cave Comics. It was, like, skyrocketing. Anthony sold it to me at a great price. I don't know where it's at right now. It might be around, like... $25, $30 now, maybe $50 still. I don't know. I'm not sure, but he sold it to me at a great price, so I'm not complaining. I'm always grateful to how good Anthony takes care of me. I'm so glad to have this in the collection. Seriously, I don't care if it's coming down or going up. I'm happy to have this in the collection. I love that art. It just looks beautiful. So very happy to have this. Couldn't, couldn't, uh, just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. Thank you. So very grateful. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on to our next place where we went. So after that, I ventured over to go see my friend Pat at Comically Speaking. And I made a big trade with him. I traded a statue for some comics and some store credit. So picked up this freebie. Got it from my kids, actually. Uh, they love pinwheels. I put it in a protector just in case for now. I did get... An extra one to give to my kids and I got this one to keep in the uh the wrap you never know it's a pretty cool calendar calendar pinwheel <laughs> I'm a geek I don't know I like it this I'm gonna show it to you anyway I got this for my daughter <laughs> it's not for me it, it's open because I'm giving it to her all my other books are sealed so she loves Elsa and Frozen She's super excited that the uh, new Frozen 2 movies coming out so pick this up for my beautiful daughter so statue huntress 2014 <laughs> anyway, so moving on. Picked up another copy of the beautiful Greg Horn variant of War of the Realms. Very happy to have that. Pick oh yeah, I did pick up another art by Nexon. So I picked up one of these there. And I picked up a few more Del Autos. So I mean that thing that thing's beautiful. I hope this goes off. Hope it takes off. Hope it does something. He also had uh Pat had the uh Pat Economics speaking had the Hell Child Blood Money. Um, so I got this version. I got this version, which is super hot. I think this is probably the best one. And I got the other version over at, um, I think, Paper Asylum or Harrison's. Can't remember. But I got it at one of them. So I um, also got this, these two at Pat's. And this is probably the hottest cover right there. That might, that might get some traction. So it's Xenoscope number one, Hell Child Blood Money number one. So... Super happy to get that in the collection. This, I was bummed out. I didn't know. I found out from Eric later at Counterplay Comics that this was actually a reprint. I thought it was some new thing that Image was doing. They had three covers, A, B, and C. I picked up all three in the trade. What a waste of trade credit because it's actually a reprint. 
image. Thanks for screwing me. Anyway, who knows? Maybe we'll get auction and the reprint will be a low print run or something, but highly unlikely. Anyway, I picked up another one of these. Just in case I do actually end up giving one to my daughter. <laughs> she destroys it. And I picked up another Amber Blake because he had a nice one in a nice shape. And now he has the big stuff from the trade. So I got, boom, first appearance of the Ultimate Taskmaster. Um, it is Ultimate Comics Spider-Man num number, Spider-Man No More, number issue 26. Um, so the Ultimate Taskmaster looks like a badass, the character. I'm not sure, I believe, hey guys, comment in the comments if you know. Um, it's speculated, I think, that he's going to be in the new Black Widow movie. He's going to be the villain. I don't know if it's official. And I don't know if it's going to be the regular Taskmaster or this, the Ultimate Taskmaster. I both have I have both first appearances, so either one. Now I have one of each at least. So, and this, whoo, this was a big one from last week, big variant from last week. I held out because Pat wasn't there. I wanted to negotiate some price with him. I think this cover art is simply beautiful. You know, it sells for ninety to a hundred bucks, so a hundred all trade value, but it to me it's worth it. It's a variant and. It's wicked cool. You got Squirrel Girl. You got Kamala Khan. You just got a whole bunch of people on this cover. It's beautiful. Captain Marvel. I love it. I like it so much. Spider Gwen, I believe that is right there. So Marvel Rising. It's all the fem female beauties in the Marvel universe. And it is just wicked cool. Um, I'm not sure. I forget. Momoko or something is the artist. But he or she is just an amazing artist. Look at that. It's just like, it looks like pencil, like an actual pencil sketch, and it's in color. I don't know. I'm a big fan of this thing. I hope it takes off. Even if it goes down in value, I'm just happy to have it. It's a piece of art to me. Another huge trade, which was probably the best trade of the, the whole, the best value of the whole trade. Um, finally got a copy of these, of this. It, it's selling everywhere for like $100 to $150. I know Larry and Harrison's had two copies. And he sold them for $150 each. So I was happy to get this from Pat. It's in primo condition. It's in beautiful condition. I want to get it slabbed. Hopefully it gets a 9.8. And I do have the clear board on it. So I used one of my clear backing boards in case I don't get it slabbed for a while. I'll still be able to enjoy the front and back and have it totally protected with a clear bag and board and a top loader. So it's firmly protected, secure. And it's just a beautiful 1 in 25 variant of the Immortal Hulk number 16. So the 1 in 25 variant is the purple background. Um, there will be one with an orange background, which will be worth less money because it's the second printing 1 in 25 variant. Who knows if I'll get that. We'll see. But I mean, that one's only selling for like 60 bucks online. So this one's the big one. This is selling for like 150, 100, 100 to 150. So this was the value for me in the trade for the statue and, and the the books and the credit but this was what i really wanted and i at least i secured a copy immortal hulk is on fire so hopefully this never goes down and just keeps taking off if he's ever in a show forget about it Ooh, if they ever do a movie and put if marvel puts him in a movie that is going to be freaking epic okay moving on moving along to the final stop of the day i'm going to break this box later on a separate video but because these cards, I was looking at them, Eric had an open box of this new game. I'm a huge Street Fighter fan. I'm not into card games. I'm not into any of that stuff, Dungeons and Dragons or anything like that. But I do love Street Fighter and I do love Darkstalkers. You know, Chun Li in the battle dress, Morgan. Um, I love this. And it's cards. It's a card game. I haven't. Akuma, my favorite right there. Um, I haven't. Lord Raptor. Gil. I haven't, uh, Violent Ken, so it's by Jasco Games, and I haven't, uh, I, I, I don't even know what I'm going to say, <laughs> but I, I can't wait to break this, I'm going to keep the cards all, you know, all kept neat in the uh, top loaders and protected, uh, I don't think I'm going to get into the card game and stop playing the game, I'm not really into that stuff, but I just love Street Fighter, so it's, it's really cool, the art on those beautiful Felicia, and I'm a fan of Dark Sockets, but I'm a huge Street Fighter fan, so that's why I picked it up. I will be breaking this later. Got this from my friend Eric at Counterplay Comics, Collectibles, and Cosplay, and they do, I'll get into it on the break, but they do have 
um, Wednesday night game night, and they will be playing this game on Wednesday nights. Um, so there you go. There's their kind of schedule during the week, their gaming schedule, and Eric just takes care of me. There's their address, phone number, email. So there you go. Kind of play comics. Give Eric some business. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his store, and it's nice that it's nice and close by. Anyway, moving along. So here's what I picked up when I went to visit Eric at Counterplay. Picked up, uh, for back issues, I picked up a second printing of Bitterroot. Like I said, this got optioned. So I did pick up the first print variant from Anthony over at uh, Paper Asylum. So I picked up this second printing from Eric at Counterplay Comics. Also picked up another Web of Venom, Carnage Bondage, and Donny Cates. I feel like this is going to go somewhere. So uh, Jim from Jim's Comics said grab a couple of them. You can still get them at cover price. And they are a cover price there. So I got, got one more. Um, Warlock number one. Just an old book from the Infinity. It was in his uh, his dollar bin. So I picked it up. Picked this up in the dollar bin. Just cool Captain Marvel art from the old Captain Marvel. It's from Soto. Or Noto, sorry. So I picked that up. Another cool Captain Marvel cover by for me. And another cool Captain Marvel cover by for me. So Captain Marvel number 24. This was number 12. And this was number 4. So there you have it. There's the back issues that I bought. On to the new comic books that I picked up from New Comic Book Wednesday over at Eric's. I grabbed... Oh, one other huge back issue. I might as well show this up front. It's... The Sensational New Captain Marvel, um, When Walks the Mandroid. It's issue number 18. It's in great shape for an older book. And it's actually the key to this is it's when Carol Danvers gets her powers. Saw the Miss Marvel movie. I was pretty impressed. I liked it. She was good as Miss Marvel. She was okay. She was good as Captain Marvel. I'll give her that. I, I don't like her politics or her agenda. How she says white dudes review movie, blah, 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 whatever. And she, she, she. Chose her words poorly. She could have worded it better. I, I get what she was trying to say. And Brie with Larson. You know, just uh, don't be an idiot, you know? Use your words. Think it out more politically before you say something. But whatever. Enough of that. But that was that was a great back issue to get. And I picked it up at a great price from Eric. So moving on. Picked up another copy of The Origin of uh, the, the Grim Knight. Whatever. The Knight guy. The Good Knight. <laughs> So Deadpool 11, picked up another variant, picked up this variant that I love of the Green Lantern. This is a variant of Green Lantern number six. Beautiful artwork, really nice, I like it. Love this issue of the Immortal Hulk number 16, the Alex Ross cover. They put Hulk on the moon. <laughs> the Hulk on the moon, the man on the moon. I, I love it, beautiful artwork. Picked it up, picked up this too, because I believe Champions number four had something to do with, um, uh, what was the solicitation about this one? It was, let's see. Oh, that variant cover of the Incredible Hulk that I got at, uh, at Pat's, that was the, uh, that was the, uh, variant cover up by Joe Bennett. That one in 12, one in 25 super valuable variant right here. Once again, just to get into this, this was the uh, the the variant cover by uh, Joe Bennett. I forgot to mention his artwork. So, oh, and also th that book, Incre Immortal Hulk number sixteen. It's also the first cameo appearance of Red Harpy. So, that's another big thing that makes it a key, which is good. Uh, let's see here, Champions, where are you, my friends? Champions number four. I know there was something to do with this book. Besides it being sold out online? No? Nothing? I guess not. So it's sold out online. I thought there was some kind of key to it. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Picked up another cover of Bronze Age Boogie. This guy right here, which is uh, Deathstroke, number 42 variant. It's a uh, variant cover art by Francisco Matina. And it is just beautiful. Very nice cover out there. So Matina did a really nice piece there. I love it. So I picked it up. Also another cover by for me. Conan the Barbarian number five. I don't think there was really any key to this. Um, but it's just great. 
great cover out with him on the boat there, all beat up after a battle. So I uh, picked that up, happily picked that up for the collection. Let's see, I also picked up another, the variant of Champions, um, Champions number four. And this was a cover art by Koi Fam. Koi Fam. So, it's the Asgardians cover. I liked it, so I picked it up. <clears throat> Another one of the Immortal Hulk 16. This was the variant, but this wasn't the 1 in 25 variant. This is just the Asgardian variant. So, I picked that up just to have every single cover. Because that book is just on fire. Hot Shots number 2. I don't think there's any thing crazy to do with this um just a pretty cool cover and it's number two in that series so i picked it up <clears throat> let's see obey me number one it was just a number one issue so there was no real key solicitation of that just picked it up because it was a number one issue Red Sonya, I just like this variant cover. There's no key to this. It's Red Sonya number three from Dynamite. I uh, just like the cover, so I grabbed it. Die number five, just a great series. No real key to that. Just picked up that, the regular cover and the variant cover. Picked up another cover of uh, Major X. And then I did pick up this War of the Realms cover right here. I'm not sure who did the art on this. I think it's beautiful. I like it a lot. I'm just not sure. Was it? Uh... No, it's not Amanda Kana, but it had Hella in it. Captain Marvel, Lady Sif, a whole bunch of people. It's just really cool. I liked it. I love Hella, and it had Hella in the center. I like Captain Marvel, too, and Sif. So, picked it up. I'm not sure who the artist is. I hate to not give credit where credit is due, but fortunately... I don't, I don't have that, uh, I'm not sure, I'm sorry, uh, basically with that book, all the ten realms have fallen to Meliketh and his allies except for one, Earth, so it's the main title of the Marvel crossover event with tie-ins spreading across select ongoing titles and launching multiple limited series over the next few weeks, so that is all of the new comics for this week, this was a long video, um, and I do have one last thing. I have a CGC mail call for you, if you will. Um, got a box in the mail here from CGC. So I want to crack it open for you guys, if you don't mind. I'm going to run and grab, a, um, grab, a, grab myself a little razor to cut this open for you. And I'm going to rip into this. So let's get this real quick. It's, it's not a huge book. It's not a small book. It's a good book. It's a good book to have graded. So you never know if a, if a movie ever comes out of these characters. So I picked it up. Let me, uh, let me get all the packaging out. Because I know it's going to have paper. I love the new thick. It's just one single book. I'll take the uh, wrapper out and all their solicitations out of the box. Come on. All right, let's get that off camera. Here we go, here's the book. Here's the CGC book that I got graded. It is, let's get the plastic off. It's Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. It's Cloak and Dagger's first appearance. I was hoping to have a much better grade. It got a 9.0 white pages. I got it pressed and everything. I thought the book looked really good in good condition. They, the graded notes, like what is wrong? Uh, there's a couple, there's one tick right there that I can see. But there's no color break. You know, the corner's a little rolled maybe, a little rounded. But man, it looks sharp to me. So, for origin and first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Spectacular Spider-Man number 64 from Marvel Comics from uh, March of 1982. Uh, Bill Montlow story. Ed Hannigan and Jim Moonley art. 
Ed Hannigan album, Milgroom cover. So it's white pages at least, 9.0. Um, I don't know, man. It's a shop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Jesus Christ. What the F happened here? Okay, no, I thought something. It's just like a slight little smudge there on the. No, oh, maybe that's what dropped the grade too. There's a little tick there too. I never noticed that. When I picked this up from Pat, over at Comically Speaking, another little rounded cover. Ah, Pat, every time you sell me a book, you act like it's a 9.8 and it's a 9.0. So anyway, still, it's Cloak and Dagger's first appearance. It's in the nines. Could be, would be nice if it was a 9.6 or a 9.8, but hey, I'll keep the hunt up for another first appearance of Cloak and Dagger and, and, uh, We'll see. Anyways. Alright guys. Thanks for watching this incredibly long video. It's probably one of my longest videos ever. But I do appreciate you joining and watching. And if you made it to the end. Please give a thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, and if you do subscribe. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. So you'll get all the alerts when I do new videos. Alright guys. Happy new comic book day. Wednesday April 3rd 2019. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys. Good night.